Hi, my beautiful Libra. Welcome to my channel, Goddess of Light 1111. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for my lovely, beautiful Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you, God. Thank you, Universe, Universal Energies, Ancestors, Holy Spirit, Archangels, Ascended Masters. Please give my lovely, beautiful Libra a clear, precise, honest message for the highest good. Alrighty, boy, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell below. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. I do appreciate each and every one of you that are supporting my channel. I'm grateful and thankful. I'm sending lots of love, new beginning, and prosperity your way. Energies are fluid. This reading may or may not resonate with you. If it's not resonate, please check out your other book chat placement for more clarity. Pick what resonates and leave the rest. So Libra, let's see what's going on for you and your love life. Holy Spirit, ancestors, what do you have for my lovely Librans and their love life? What do you have for my lovely Libran, please? So we have faith. So whatever that's going on, whatever that's happening, it's um, supposed to happen at this time. I'm getting healings, hoping and wishing this star is perfectly aligned for you guys. You know, I'm definitely getting, like for some of you, you might be a star seed. But there's healings coming towards you. So you guys will be able to finally heal something. Because we have number 17, that's turning to an 8. You guys are going to get some type of clarity also about a situation that's going to bring you healings or whatever that's coming whether whatever that's going uh, whatever that's coming in is gonna put some type of ending to a situation yeah see i know it right it's gonna put some type of ending cleaning up number 21 this is a cycle that's coming to a close there's you'll be able to heal from this situation because I felt like the past is the past is coming to a close. Whatever that happened, um, that's going on here. So there's no need for you guys to be stressed out. Holy Spirit ancestors, what do you have for my lovely Libran? Yeah, we have in between worlds. The situation, like I say, situation is coming to a close. I feel like for some of you, you might be moving towards. We have the number three here. This is you know, the Holy Trinity. So you guys are moving away from any type of, you know, setback, obstacle, you know, heartache and, you know, whatever that, you know, that was, you know, keeping you stuck, keeping you stagnant. You guys are about to walk into the world. I'm coming out. <laughs> That's the energy that I'm getting here for some of you, Libra. So you guys are about to wear your crown like this, nobody's business. And you're going to walk into the world like paint the town red. That's what I'm hearing. So this is beautiful. I love it. You guys are very aligned with the Ascended Masters. So that's good. May I please have one more card, please, for Libra. Yeah, see, we have number five, major change, major transformation for you guys. Often it, you might be... Um, this ending you might be feeling like you're going through it alone but what i'm hearing here you don't need to feel like you are alone because you your spirit guy are with you all the time your angels they are like in the corner sideways you know all around you you might not see it because you have to go to the pen alone but but this is whatever you are going to it is the for the uh, betterment of your uh, high is good so it's going to help you grow it's going to build you it's going to make you a better human being a better person a better whatever you're supposed to be here so go to it and let it go yes and also you guys need to be flexible so you have flexibility so for some of you that if you are looking for relationship right so you need to be more flexible because if you're flexible you understand you can use your discernment better you will be able to discern who is good for you who is not because if you are so picky you might be miss out an opportunity if you are so focused on what was you're gonna miss an opportunity with the love of your life 
Holy Spirit and ancestors, may I have two cards, please, for the person coming so is my lovely Libra. Well, we have unexpected income. Okay. So whomever you guys are dealing with, number 27, their outcome is that someone in here getting some type of money. They have one more card, please, for this person Libra may be dealing with. We have official person. So whomever this official person here, that's this person is going to bring something to somebody. Someone is about to receive some type of money. We have number 22. 22 is, is about, you know, very much balance. I feel like something, the scale is going to be balanced out. Or maybe this official person, maybe they, this person might have some type of high rank in the military. Maybe this person expect to get some type of money or this is someone else. Because you can see this hand here giving this person some type of money. Someone about to get some type of money. And I feel like this this official person is about to deliver the news to somebody here. Yeah, we have mature woman. I feel like for some of you, Libra, number six. Yes, about stability, balance. This is you. You guys might have a little bit of gray hair. You know, well, she have a lot of gray hair. But she's older. She's made mature. She's sitting, you know, she's waiting. She's patiently waiting on this news, on this, whatever this is for her. It could be you guys that are waiting on something special. If you're waiting on money, Libra, it's coming. Holy Spirit, ancestors. I have two cards please, for the person Libra is dealing with. Mm. So, good news. There is a need for this person to put something to rest. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, someone in here need to put something to rest. Pay attention to the word flags engagement. Someone, okay, Libra, I'm going to tell you this. Some this person is need to put something to rest because remember these fools here is they are engaged. Okay, this person is in some type of higher commitment. They might be engaged, about to get married here, but this person is they're telling you to pay attention to the red flags when it's come to this person that's coming towards you. So because they need to put something to it. See that this person might be coming to you with some nonsense and stuff like that. But you have to pay attention to the word flag and engagement. So yeah. No one to say no one to use your discernment. No one to run. Holy Spirit ancestors, may I have three cards from my lovely Libra, please? Who's coming towards Libra? Let's see who. Libra may or may not dealing with who's Libra may or may not dealing with. I feel like with this card coming sideways, see someone in here is unsure where they stand when it's come to their finance because I feel like a financial new beginning is not sturdy is not stable at this time so this is what this person feeling because we have the hangman here someone decided you know what i'm going to uh there's some type of enlightenment here someone gets some type of clarity because they go with 10 and someone felt like okay you know what i'm going to do whatever that i can do i'm making sacrifices for myself so this person might making some type of sacrifice for themselves you know and sacrifice doesn't mean you know it's not mean like you sacrifice somebody. It's mean like you ended something, you do something here to, you know, like let's just say you are in a relationship that's not working out. This person is hindering you. So you make a sacrifice by let the relationship go, go so you can focus on what's matter to you. Whether it's your purpose, whether it's your finance, whether it's your, you know, stability. We have the nine of cups here. Um this person could be feeling like you are the wish fulfillment here but i must say this because this is this person might also be waiting in limbo here you know don't let nobody come in and gaslighting you also because i feel like you are the wish fulfillment so some shape or form here this person like it's like you make them really 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 happy it could this could have also happened in the past because i'm between the wall here telling me something is ended so you can have a rebirth or no beginning here
So we have the two of cups. Someone wants some type of giving and receiving. This is about, you know, uh, someone who could be also very aligned with themselves, aligned with the universe, uh, very aligned emotionally. Wow, because some type of secrets come out. The moon and the reverse. All right, okay. I like it. Whatever this moon and the reverse here, this is good. It's like someone who could be also secretly about to express their feelings tell you how they feel here mm -hmm. yeah someone in here felt like you know we have four of cups someone feel like this is a huge missed opportunity for them they felt very very burdensome at this time with the ten of wands because someone felt like you know they could be feeling like neglected someone here could be feeling neglected that's what they want you that's what they want to say to you they could be feeling neglected maybe they felt like you know they this miss you know they miss you they felt like emotionally like without you and stuff they don't know what to do with themselves they want to express their feelings someone is going to express their feelings for you because they are emotionally unstable they're feeling the loss of you yeah Oh, they miss you because they're not sure where their money is also because whatever this person was doing now they realize that you are their wish fulfillment whatever they were doing they're like not really sure of their money at this time okay holy spirit ancestors So again, their challenge is that try to go with 10. This person is not getting they they are trying to be wise, but they are not really because they are unable to go with 10. They are unable to get knowledge or wisdom. They're not when it's come to wisdom and knowledge, they're not really they're not really knowledgeable. So they're having a hard time going into a hermit to get you know what they need. Yeah, Ace of Cups, whomever this is, though, that loves you. <laughs> Six of Wands. This person loves you, and they want to give you a whole lot of attention here. That's what I'm getting. This person, yeah, we have Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. Yeah, this person is very sappy when it's come to you because you can see Six of Wands here. You could have you know give this person a lot of attention for some of you this person love getting attention it like someone in here get attention from whomever that's going to give it to them mm. let's see this person attentions towards you holy spirit ancestors Yeah, four of swords. See, the thing is that their intentions towards you is to put whatever that you guys went through is to put it behind them, is to put it to rest. That's what I'm getting here. That's the energy that I'm getting. We have because we have five of swords. I mean, four of swords here is to put things to rest, is to hold back. This person need to persevere. They need to meditate. They need to pray here because they could be feeling like this person attentions to you. They, maybe they want to hold you back some shape or form here. See, they are playing some type of game and stuff. This person could be talking bad about you. They could be gossiping to other people about you here with the Five of Swords, which is that's terrible. But there's a need for them to put things to us. There's a need for them to put things to us to uh, tame themselves from saying you know anything inappropriate here especially with the five of swords because this is might be somebody and stuff like that that you know talk bad about people they're slandering people they love gossiping here with the five of swords this is someone that also want to win at all costs so whatever you do to this person libra all day mm -hmm. look at that this person could have been very sneaky uh, seven of swords two of pentacles someone in here could have tried to making you uh try to making you look unbalanced you know four of wands here we have the magician but i feel like you blocked this person 
You might blight them. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so what is the Five of Swords, please, Holy Spirit, ancestors? Can you please clarify the Five of Swords? You see, someone, what this person want, they, someone in here expect you to, um, let your guard down, not to defend it yourself. This is what this person wants you to do. Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands is in a reverse? This is what they want you to do. Yeah, see? But you are the Empress, Libra. You know what's up. You know what's up, okay? So, hey, Libra, holla, girl. <laughs> oh, man, whomever you are. But this person was expecting you to let your guard down. They could, you know, expect you to defend it yourself, not to defend it yourself or anything like that. The only thing they don't rely that you are divinely guided. You are divinely protected. You are a divine feminine. So, which means that you are aligned with the universe. So, whatever this person, that little plan they were doing, they were fire on them because they are the five of swords they was expect to win at all costs remember this love for you guys mm, what is the moon in the reverse i told you this person could have been gaslighting you i'm serious yeah the tower in the reverse yeah whatever this person realized that they were about to do and stuff like that it didn't happen the universe said nah nah they ain't gonna happen not today Mm -hmm. you put things to us and stuff like that you tame yourself you're like no we're good here we're good in this you know we're good what is the hermit why is the hermit is a challenge for this person yeah three of cups in a reverse because you decided not to reunite with this person you remember these fake friends Whomever this is, you decided you don't wanna you don't wanna reunite with this person. You know, it's a challenge for them because you're like, no, we're not going to do this. Mm -mm, we're done. Yeah. What is the hangman? See, I told you this person wanted to make you feel feel some type of way. Like I say, making some type of sacrifice so you can be in your head, so you can be having sleepless nights, so you can be stressed. Maybe depressed, anxiety. This person, they, that that was the intention here. What well, they don't realize that you are on your power. You are a divine being. You are aligned with with your ancestors, your 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 spiritual. You know whatever you know you point to, you are aligned with God. These people doesn't understand. You are you are justice. That's what somebody doesn't realize. You could, for some of you that has Libra in your chart also, I feel like this reading might be we, um, for people that also have Libras in their chart. What is the Knight of Cups? Oh, wow, Nine of Cups. Clarify Nine of Cups. Someone in here might be drinking a lot also. Whatever that happened and stuff, you send somebody to the to the battle, to the alcohol. Yeah, but this person, you are this person wish fulfillment for real, for real. Give me one more card for the nine of cups. They miss you a whole lot. This person loves you. King of Swords, Libra Gemini Aquarius. So yeah, they are drinking because this person in loves with you. You are this person wish fulfillment. For some of you, it could be a twin flame. Because we have the nine of cups here twice. What is the six of wands? Two of swords, ten of cups. So yeah, so this person like there could be right now this this person might be very confused especially when it's come to family they might be confused too of sorts something they didn't see coming when it's come to the two of cups i mean what to the ten of cups they don't see this coming what is the ten of cups please and i'm gonna let your reading go what is the ten of cups yeah nine of cups 
this person was could have been expected to get some type of offer and then it's like no they did not get that whatever they were expect what they didn't see coming maybe someone in here was expected to get attention they was expect to get some type of love offer here there was someone here could expect you to want him back to them or some shape or form you know with the offer here and you're like no i'm good over here where i am we have king of pentacles here mm -hmm. king of pentacles toys virgo capricorn we have ace of cups and we have the devil mm. someone you guys are dealing with they could get some type of offer it doesn't have to be a love offer whatever they get from this king of pentacles here or someone here they have earth in their chart they could have capricorn in their chart this person is evil is heck i feel like somebody here definitely getting like they're getting that they, they are working with the devil they got some type of offer from the devil here mm. whatever offer they yeah see page of wands the devil is of cups whatever they offer this person get from the devil i feel like they they are going to um they messed up big time I have two cards, please, for Libra and the love life. Yeah, we have second chance. I told you, this person wants you to give him some type of second chance. Yeah, this person is very much in love with you, spiritual lesson. So, you guys are supposed to learn some lesson from this person, or you might be the one supposed to teach this person a lesson, but I don't think they're learning the lesson. I don't think so. This relationship deserves a second chance. The second chance come in sideways. And this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. So I feel like Libra, this person might be in your life to teach you a lesson. But you guys are in your power. So you stand your ground. Boom. Bye Libra. I love you guys.